Hey guys, welcome back to the Monkey Show. I am your host, Alex. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Today, I wanted to give you my honest review and an update on Sidegun hosting in the year 2021, uh, more specifically April of 2021. And if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you will know that I have been the biggest supporter of Sideground. I love the company so much. I've been promoting them as one of the best, even the best uh, web hosting company in the world. Unfortunately, a few things have happened in the past few weeks that has changed my mind a little bit. Now, from a feature uh, customer support uh, services perspective, SiteGround, in my humble opinion, are still one of the best web hosting companies in the world. Like the customer support with SiteGround is still excellent. I joined them back in 2012 and uh, that was one of the main reasons why I fell in love with them. Like if you go to the live chat uh, feature, within seconds, somebody is there to attend to you. You submit a ticket. Within 10, maximum 15 minutes, they've already responded to your ticket. Like Saigon are extremely efficient when it comes to providing support to their clients. And also they have a lot of features as well for security, for speed, caching and so on. Like it's, it, it truly is a fantastic web hosting platform. Unfortunately, the biggest change that has turned me off is the change in pricing. So here's the thing, right? If you go to the web hosting plans, right now you can see they've always had these three packages, by the way, Startup, Grow Big, and Go Geek. I'm going to ignore Startup and focus more on Grow Big and Go Geek because with Grow Big, yes, they have a special price where you join for $10 per month, but that'll be for the first year. And then the second year, it goes up to $25 per month. With Go Geek, it's $15 per month for the first year and then $40 per month for the second year. I would not have had any issues with this change in price because it used to be a little bit cheaper. Um, however, there has been one major change which, which, which saddens me. And that's the fact that with the Go Big and Go Geek packages, there is now a limit to the number of websites that you can host with them. With GoBig, it's two websites. With, Go, with GoGeek, it's now five websites. In the past, believe it or not, this two used to be unlimited number of websites. Like you could host as many websites as you wanted with either the GoBig or the GoGeek packages. So to go from unlimited number to now two or even five, is a very very serious drastic change and honestly i don't know if even with the new features they've added because yeah if you go to their blog they'll, they'll they've discussed all the features they've added and they've added some really really nice features like bottle compression uh, ultra fast php things like that really really awesome features honestly i don't know if it justifies this change like if they had kept the grow big and go kick packages at unlimited number of websites, I would be fine with the with the change in price because hey, they're actually adding new features as well. This change from unlimited to two websites and then to five websites is it's just I don't know. It's it's a serious uh serious change. And one other thing I found very odd is the fact that if you go to the uh the, the checkout page where you can, uh, you know, sign up for the hosting. Down here, you can choose the period with which you want to host with them. Now, here is one thing I found very interesting, right? So for 12 months, you would get the standard uh, $10 per month if you're going with the uh, Grow Big package, right? But the funny thing is, if you go to 24 months, then it becomes $15 per month. And then if you go to 36 months, which is three years, you now have it at $17.49 per month, which makes no sense. I, I don't know whose idea this was, but normally when you, the, the longer you, you sign a contract uh, with a company, uh, the, the cheaper it's supposed to become. So ideally, if you're gonna go for 12 months, it should be, let's say $15 per month, right? If you're gonna go with a 12 month uh, package, but then if you go with 24 months, then it should become maybe like $12 per month. And then if you go with the 36 months, then it should be like maybe $9 per month. Like the incentive is to encourage you to, to sign for longer contracts. And the incentive would be to, that they will make it cheaper for you in the long run. That's how it's supposed to be. But here it's the opposite. 
it's like the longer you stay with Cyclone, the, the more money you spend with them. Uh, I'm not like a marketing expert or an accountant, but I, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense to me at all. I don't know what the logic here is. So ultimately, uh, if you were to ask me, Alex, you know, should I still host with SiteGround? It really comes down to your pocket. That's really what it is. If you can afford to pay for the services, I will still recommend SiteGround because again, features are amazing. Customer support is amazing. That much I can guarantee you. So even though you're paying a lot of money, you can be assured you're getting really good service. However, if you're somebody who cannot afford SiteGround, obviously then yes, go find a different web hosting company. Uh, especially with this big change in the grow big and go kick packages where you're now limited to two websites and five websites respectively. It's just such a, a, a huge, huge, huge change. And uh, even if you're somebody who can afford to pay for this updated prices, but, but you're not happy, uh, what would I recommend? I would recommend you go with uh, Cloudways. Um, I have been hosting with them for over a year now and uh, they, they do provide... The support from Cloudways isn't as good as SiteGround, but it's cheaper. Okay, it's cheaper. Yes, they, 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 they don't offer you shared hosting. They offer you cloud hosting, which is actually more expensive than shared hosting. But uh, if you're going to be paying, if you can afford to pay, uh, let's say, uh, you know, $40 per month for hosting, you might as well just go with cloud hosting and then uh, Cloudways will be the best option uh, in that regard. I didn't want to leave you hanging should in case, you know, you can't afford side ground and you can't afford cloud hosting either. Uh, what web hosting company would I recommend? Something like really cheap. Uh, my recommendation would be Namecheap. I haven't hosted with Namecheap before, to be honest with you. I've never even had any interaction with them at all. But the reason why I would recommend Namecheap is because uh, based on what I've been able to gather from the internet, because I did some research, uh, a lot of people do seem to enjoy working with Namecheap. And uh, if you take, take a look at their hosting packages, um, it's actually very, very affordable. Um, so yeah, they have <laughs> plans as, as cheap as, uh, you know, $5 per month. Um, I don't know, again, I don't know what the quality of the service is personally, but I'm only recommending them because like I said, I, you know, I did some research online and a lot of people seem to enjoy Namecheap and uh, it's cheap plus the supports seems to be quite good as well so i would recommend you check out namecheap and if you're not happy with them well you can always uh switch but going back to side ground again ultimately it depends on your on your pocket if you can afford to pay for side ground hey you can pay for it you will get really good uh, services and good support but if you can't you're better off switching to uh, a different uh, web hosting company for me personally i'm still gonna stick with side ground um but that's because uh, I already signed up previously for the Grow Big uh, account, so this this new change isn't going to affect uh, existing customers. It's only going to affect new customers. So if you've had your Grow Big account with SiteGround before, you're still going to have access to the unlimited uh, number of websites. So uh, that's my update, my honest update about SiteGround uh, hosting. Still, still worth uh, checking it out, but uh, the, the change in price is going to turn off a lot of people. So let me know what your comments are. If you have any questions about them, you know, I'd love to hear from you. Um, if, you're, if you're hosting with a different web hosting company that isn't uh, Namecheap or Cloudways or SiteGround and you're happy with them, uh, please let me know the name of the web hosting company that you are hosting with. It might be helpful to uh, other people. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.